Hi kids! How are you today? I hope you are all doing fine. I am Teacher Belle and in this video, we are going to learn something fun because English is fun! So, are you kids ready? Okay, let's start! Today's lesson will be all about pluralization of regular nouns. Have you ever been to a zoo? What do we usually see at the zoo? Yes, we can see different animals there. Now, do you want to come with me to the zoo and see the different animals? Great! Oh wait, let me change first. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go! Welcome to the zoo, kids! Now let us look around and share everything that we see. Look over there! What do you see? That's right! A monkey is climbing up the tree! How about now? What animal do you see? Yes, a lion! Can you describe what's the lion doing? You're correct! The lion roars really loud! Now look! What is this? Yes, it's a crocodile! What can you say about the crocodile's teeth? That's right! The crocodile has very sharp teeth! How about these animals? Do you know what they are called? Yes, they are called parrots! What do parrots eat? Great! The parrots eat seeds. Here comes the big animal. Do you know what animal is this? Yes, an elephant. How would you describe its trunk? Very good! The elephant has a long trunk. Aside from animals, what else do you see at the zoo? Look! What is that little girl doing? That's right! The little girl is riding a scooter. How about these boys? What are they eating? Correct! The boys are eating sandwiches. Now look at this girl. What is she doing in the pond? That's right again! The girl is feeding the fish in the pond. Alright kids, thank you for joining me here at the zoo. I hope you had a great time. Let's go back to the classroom. How was your experience at the zoo kids? Did you have fun like me? Okay, let's proceed to our lesson. Now, let's read again the statements that describe the things that we have seen at the zoo. A monkey is climbing up the tree. What is climbing up the tree? Yes, monkey! The lion roars really loud. What animal roars really loud? Correct, lion! The elephant has a long trunk. What animal has a long trunk? Correct, elephant! A little girl is riding a scooter. Who is riding the scooter? That's right, the little girl. The girl is feeding the fish in the pond. Where is the girl feeding the fish? Great, in the pond. Now let's read these words. Monkey, lion, elephant. Girl, pond. What kind of words do you think are they? These words are examples of nouns. You're awesome.
Do you know that there are two forms of noun? These are singular and plural. Singular means only one noun. Check this out. The elephant has a long trunk. How many elephants are there? One. It only means that the word elephant is singular. Another example, the crocodile has very sharp teeth. How many crocodiles are there? One. So it only means that the word crocodile is also singular. Plural means two or more nouns. For example, the boys are eating sandwiches. How many boys are eating sandwiches? Three. That means that the word boys is plural. How about the sandwiches? How many sandwiches are there? Also three. That means the word sandwiches is also plural. Now the question is, how do we pluralize singular nouns? General rule. Most nouns are made plural by adding S at the end of the singular form. For example, lion, lions, elephant, elephants. Now you try. What is the plural form of the word girl? Girls. That's right! What is the plural form of the word scooter? Scooters! Very good! Nouns ending in S, X, Z, SH, CH, and SS form plural by adding ES at the end of the singular form. For example, brush, brushes, sandwich, sandwiches. Now it's your turn. What is the plural form of the word fox? Foxes! Great! What is the plural form of the word glass? Glasses! Very good! Now kids, I think you are ready for a test. All you have to do is to choose the correct plural form of the given nouns to complete the sentences. Are you ready? Let's start! Number 1 some large fish live in the blank. Which of the two is the correct plural form of the word pond? Is this your answer? Then you got it right! Let's read the sentence once again. Some large fish live in the pond. Number 2. Bob feeds the blank at the zoo. Which is the correct plural form of the word ostrich? Is this your answer? Then you are right! Now let's read the sentence. Bob feeds the ostriches at the zoo. Number 3. Most of the blank in our town are made of light materials. Which of the two is the correct plural form of the word house? Is this your answer? Then that's correct! Please read the sentence. Most of the houses in our town are made of light materials. Number 4. Blank are passing by the school every day. 
which is the correct plural form of the word boss. Is this your answer? You got it! Let's read the sentence. Buses are passing by the school every day. Number 5. Larry gets high scores in his blank. Which of the two is the correct plural form of the word quiz? Is this your answer? Then, you got it! Now read the sentence. Larry gets high scores in his quizzes. You did great! Again, this is Teacher Bell. See you next time. Bye!